Okay, so today we're about to do one of those super unscientific experiments that drive my nerdy husband crazy. We're going to check and see which is the best magazine collage glue. Okay, so I have 10 spots. I have 10 glues. And I have a whole bunch of pieces of magazine papers, okay? So what, and, and so I've tried to give everybody the best chance possible. I put a brand new tip on my art glitter glue. This is the old tip. I cleaned out this nozzle. The schnozzle is clean. I need a pen. Let's see, I have a pencil. Okay, we'll use a pencil. Um, so I can write down which each one is. And what we're gonna do is we're going to test four things and then come out with a total. So edge holding. So does it, um, does the edges stay down? Do, you, do they come up? Middle marks, this is a huge one for me. Um, when you do it, do you, can you see the line marks in it? Wrinkles, price, and then we're gonna come up with a total. Now there is one category that I can only give the winning thing to. So my biggest category that matters to me is can it manage itself? Meaning can I leave it open and can it uh, uh, continue to work, right? Without 10 minutes of cleaning the schnozzle and um, doing all that or having to buy a new nozzle or whatever. So um, Tacky glue did not I had to get out a um, Paper clip and schnudge 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 uh, Art glitter glue did not I would say of all the ones that I use regularly Nuvo is the best for managing itself, but we will not um, We will not make it a favorite. We have to see how it works. So let's try to get, um, let's try to do this in some, I guess there's no order. I'm going to pick the first one first. Okay, this is Lawn Fawn Fundamentals. This is a little um, glue tip. It gets googies on the ends. Let's do an edge holding. See how it manages. And I'm going to do it just the way that I do it, not any special way. Okay, edge holding. Now we're gonna do right down the middle and see if it leaves a mark when it's dry. Some of them do when it's wet, but we're gonna wait till it gets dry. Then we wanna see wrinkles. So this is gonna be, does it wrinkle? Yes or no? And then the price, we're gonna put that there. All right. So this is Lawn Fawn, uh, glue tube okay there we go now we have um this is scrapbook.com smart craft glue and the thing i don't like about this for me is it's tacky if it's not under something so it 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 feels very tacky but i do know it has a great price and we're gonna test the other bits of it so we're gonna do edge of the hold down oh gosh it's everywhere and it's a very um liquid glue so and it just gets stickies all over i this is okay it just squirted itself out this is not my favorite glue i love a, a lot of scrapbook.com's things but this as a glue is not my favorite and I'm gonna go have to go wash my hands after this before we can continue our experiment because I'm gonna be full of stickiness. See if it wrinkles. Oh God, I'm gonna have to touch it again. This is the things I do for you. It kind of reminds me the consistency of um, rubber cement. My mom always used rubber cement when I was little always used rubber cement when I was little, but the difference to me with this is rubber cement was really good at, you could um, 
rub it off your paper and this isn't very good. So this is the Nuvo glue pen. And this one's weird because it um it doesn't have a uh like a like glue that comes out. It's just glue that gets on this thing. So let's do our edges. Sticky down edges. Let's do our middle marks. I need a bigger piece for wrinkles. And let's do our wrinkles. And I have never left the cap off of this one. Um, I don't know why. Look, see, I left the cap off of that. And this one comes in two sizes. If you love it, there are people that love that smart glue. So don't take my itchy, sticky thing and, and go against it. Okay, let's try Fabri-Tac. Because I know a lot of people re recommend Fabri-Tac. And if you're wondering why I have so many glues, it's because people have recommended them. And I've tried them. And uh, so... Let's see, are we actually getting, I didn't, I didn't, well, let's see if we're getting it. Boop, boop. Oh my goodness, I am not a good smeller, and this stinks. So this Fabri-Tac is, um, is a stinky glue. I'm not sure it's getting a fair shake. Because I think we may need to do the, you know, it's coming out, but it's coming out really kind of, okay, let's do this, this poor paper clip. Oh, I heard a noise, and this is going to be good because we're going to do this one all over. I don't think it's, sometimes you can be mad at glue, and it's not the glue's fault because you never were patient enough to let the glue come down to the bottom of the tube. And that happens with all glues. This is not a Fabri-Tac problem. This is a, I'm not great at waiting for glue to come down. There we go. Now we got all of it. Let's see if we get wrinkles. Okay, that's Fabri-Tac. All right, what did we do so far? We did this, 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 okay. And then let's do, oh, let's do this one. This is Distress Collage Medium. And it is, um, I have to use it in this, uh, this thingy because otherwise I do not have the patience to let it get down to its front. And Collage Medium is more, oops. We're going to do this for the, other one for the does it wrinkle um so if you're not a big gluer you can spread your glue out by putting your glue on your paper and then putting it on there okay let's see we need middle marks oh anyways so i have this um made by marco make it by marco um that holds it upside down because it's just it's for honestly i think it's for heavier things than magazine paper um it's you can use it to glue almost anything you can use it to glue metal and glass and so if you could only afford one kind of glue i don't know i kind of think that that well we'll see how everything comes out okay we want to see how it does the edges all right, so that's this first five, and now we have five more. Now, I will say that the uh, collage glue was not, um, just got on my hands, and it wasn't terrible. All right, we gotta let these dry. Now we're gonna do Eileen's Tacky Glue. We're gonna do edge holding. One thing I don't love about Eileen's is it comes in this, so it's super cheap at Michael's, right? Um, you can, like, 
its price is going to be amazing. It's, uh, you get a lot of it for a little bit of money. See, I got 25% bonus. But for me, especially when I'm gluing down little pieces, it's kind of, um, it's too big, right? Let's see if this wrinkles. So we're going to do our trick. Now let me show you to get it all over without having to put it all over. We're going to come, we're going to slide, we're going to slide. There it goes. Eileen's. A-L-E-E-N-E-S. Eileen's. Okay. So we got that one. Let's see. Let's do my Nuvo. This is my favorite kind that I have found is my favorite kind, but maybe we'll find a new favorite after today, right? So going around the edge, I think it's um, a thinner, a thinner glue maybe, I don't know. It's the one I recommend all the time. Let's do middle marks. And the reason I'm so concerned with middle marks as a magazine collager is you have, um, Darn it, it doesn't make middle marks. Um, you have uh, cut out all these cool magazine collage images and you're using them. And then I have done ones where the middle marks stay forever. And then I either have to, um, I either have to doodle over them or do something. It's just not fun, even if it's not, even if you can't see it huge, even if you see it a little bit, it's really disconcerting to me. Now, I will tell you, I used art, you can tell this is a well, well-loved bottle of art glitter glue. Now, why isn't this working? Because I cleaned this whole thing out just before, honestly. Let's just make sure I didn't put the wrong tip on. Is this the wrong tip? That's the wrong, that's that one. Okay, let's do this. That's open. This is already shut up. Like, almost literally, you have to, um, you have to close it up immediately. And literally, this was five minutes of not being closed up not having the pin in it, right? So, and this super fine tip really is delightful. Don't get me wrong, I love using it. Um, if you have um, arthritis, if you have trouble with your hands, um, this, this is not the product for you. So I got the pin out. Let's see if we can get it through. Usually once you get it through, It'll go through again. I have found that while this is amazing glue, and if you're gonna sit down for a big session, this is worth doing, but I have also found that I don't like spending my time managing my glue. And like I said, I went and got a new glue tip to make sure that I wasn't being his histrionical what was this this was nouveau that i bought i've bought a whole bunch of them because i love i love 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 art glitter glue um the glue itself the 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 problems with so this is directly out of the bag i cleaned this entire thing we saw that glue came out of the thing let's hope it works this is a stainless steel needle. It's worth getting that because if you don't have a stainless steel needle, you, um, it, uh, well, I'm going to keep those little. And they come in these little doodads. I'm going to put these in there. Okay. So I can boil them or do something to clean them out. Okay, so this is a brand new one. Turning on, turning on, turning on. It's really easy to turn on, okay? Let's do, uh-oh, <laughs> I wonder if I glued it. Okay, here we go. So this is gonna be our wrinkles one. And I think it's also a um, very liquid glue, which is why I like it, right? 
But the having to manage it, and there are gals, don't get me wrong, there are gals that are so good at closing it up every time. I may buy a, um, they have these really cool things on Etsy. I think if you have to have a glue that has its own, although, okay, as I say this about the distress glue and it goes in there. Um, if you have a thing with its own thing on Etsy, uh, but it's a fancy like beaded uh, pin that you can use. So this is art glitter and it doesn't have any glitter in it. It's confusing. Okay, uh, what else do we have? Mod Podge. Now this is one that a lot of people use, right? What's our last one? I counted several times. Hold on, let me see what else we have. Uh, so Mod Podge, we'll do that first. So we're gonna go around the edges, see how we get on the edges. Mod Podge is kind of a, you got what you got, right? Okay, it's a sealer. We're gonna do, does it, does it, can you see lines? And then we're gonna do, does it wrinkle? Okay, so. And I'll give you a hint on this one. It wrinkles. So Mod Podge wrinkles. If you are anti, anti, anti wrinkle, Mod Podge is not the one for you. Okay, so I have Mod Podge. Okay, I wasn't sure I was gonna use Glossy Accents, but I am gonna use Glossy Accents. So Glossy Accents is this really cool one that, uh, so first off, we have to let it come down. And I may have a new one. I was thinking I was gonna get a new Glossy Accents. Let me check. Let me check. Because honestly, I have glue issues. I love glue. Where is it? Where is it? Boop, boop, boop. I've sworn a lot of glossy accents. Okay. So we're going to go around the edge. So glossy accents is cool because it's kind of a twofer. It does, um, you can use it as a glue, right? So that's the edge. Let's do the middle. But... The cool thing about glossy accents is that you can make it dimensional. Um, so this one, we wanna see if it wrinkles. No, if it wrinkles. I have never, there we go. But you can use it for making dimensional shiny tags and stuff like that. So it's, I love that it's um, both a glue and a um, thing. Oh my gosh, some of these are, Okay, glossy accents. And then I am going to do the prices while these dry. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, this is fun. So we are gonna go, and I wrote it down and I have the prices. So edge holding, oh, edge holding good, yes. Middle marks, I don't see any middle marks, so it's good. Wrinkles, oh, let's see. Not too bad, fun, fun, glue, glue, good. Uh, Scrapbook.com smart glue, we have wrinkles. We have no marks. Honestly, we have amazing edge holding. Okay. Nouveau glue pen. Good edge holding. No middle marks. No wrinkles. Fabri-Tec. Uh, I feel like we have a little bit, maybe a half a wrinkle. We'll give it a half a wrinkle. No marks. Good edge holding. Distress collage. Really good edge holding. No, let's see. No middle marks. Uh, 
I'm giving it a half a wrinkles. I don't know that that's really the thing it's supposed to be used for. It might have a lot of water in it. So let's talk about why they might make wrinkles. If they have water, if they're water-based, then they're gonna have wrinkles over a big um, area. Making wrinkles doesn't necessarily make it bad. Like Art Glitter Glue has wrinkles, but you don't usually put it everywhere like that. This is, you can't see it anywhere and the edge hold is really good. So for magazine collage, you wouldn't want to put this everywhere, right? Where's Mod Podge? Mod Podge has wrinkles. Um, I am not seeing any things, and I don't know. I'm going to give it a half on edge holding. Okay. Eileen's. Uh, I don't, I'm going to give it a half on edge holding because the bottle was so big, it was hard to get it around the edge. Um, ooh, we definitely have wrinkles. I can see it. I can see right where I put it. So I wouldn't use Eileen's for magazine collage. This is our worst one. This is number 10 so far. Uh, Nouveau, no wrinkles, no C. Okay, you got excellent edge holding. For glossy accents, ooh, it's smooth. We're good. I cannot see where it was. And it has good edge holding. So now let's rank them. Okay. So I think Eileen's is number 10. I did not think that was good. Let's go through the wrinkly ones. Art Glitter Glue was wrinkly, but it's not really how it's supposed to be used. Um... I've got to give Fabri-Tac um it's on the low end so we're gonna give it this this i'm gonna give number like two because it has excellent holding maybe number three this is gonna be number two or number three because i was not aware of how low price this is even though you have to buy the stupid but i'm very impressed i'm giving art glitter glue number three just because managing the opening is hard, um, but it's good. I'm gonna give no Nuvo number two because it's not inexpensive, right? But it's the one I use all the time. It's the one I recommend all the time. Okay, Mod Podge for scrapbook or for uh, magazine collage. Let's see. This made wrinkles. I'm going to make this number nine. We had some wrinkles. Fabri-Tac, this is going to be number eight. This is going to be... Actually, this is going to be number seven because it has a low price. This is going to be number eight. So we have 10, 9, 8, 7. Now we're getting in the middle. Hmm, that's, that did really well. This did really well. Both medium priced. This is high priced. So let's go number... Six. Let's go number five. This has got to be number four. Okay, I have to make this number one and this number two because this is, like, you couldn't use the glue pen for everything, okay? And I know that, that it looks like I'm just a Nouveau lover, and I am, um, but I would say Nouveau and Art Glitter Glue are similar. 
and this is a much slower price. So if you could mind your thing and not leave it open all the time, I would go with our glitter glue. I can't do that, so I go with Nuvo. Number one, actually we're gonna bump this guy up to number two, and we're making this number three because you couldn't really use it for everything. So that is my, um, my results. I will have a blog post linked here where you can see all of them, the pricing and everything. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, artsy fartsy life.